My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a hot ticket right here, folks. 1967 Pontiac GTO. And let me tell you, this car is set up to drive. It has upgraded suspension components, got four wheel disc brakes, it's a Ram Air 400 motor, dual gate shifter, power windows, power antenna, power steering, power brakes, uh, the Hearst dual gate shifter, factory born red car. Pontiac Historical Documented, just a nice car. I should play hooky and just go with it this afternoon. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures, top to bottom. You will find prices on all of the cars we offer for sale, along with the monthly finance uh, option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, that way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, tops down, let's go for a spin. We just got this uh, as part of a 25 car estate collection that we purchased. Uh, most of his cars were older, were like one of a kind, exotic rare cars. Uh, I believe this was a car he wanted to drive because uh, of the way it's set up. Uh, underneath the front end's completely rebuilt. All the ball joints, bushings, suspension, steering uh, looks very recent. Uh, it is upgraded with Coney gas shocks all around. Uh, in back, they put in a Hotchkiss sport suspension. Uh, it's got the upper and tubular box control arms, and it also has a sway bar in the back. I told you it has four wheel disc brakes. Uh, they're all uh, drilled and slotted rotors with red calipers, stainless braided hoses, all new brake lines, uh, e-brake assemblies all hooked up. I've uh, got Flowmaster dual exhaust system. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's clean, uh, upgraded high torque starter. Uh, it's a turbo 400 automatic. Uh, it's got a 10 volt posi rear end. <clears throat> Uh, floor pans have been replaced, so it's been restored. It's all solid and good. Uh, so underneath the car is nice with some upgrades. Now the body, uh, I was born regimental red. There's an R on the cowl tag. And like I said, we have the PHS papers, which is Pontiac Historical uh, Service. They document the cars for us. Um, I'm mean, going to look at the body. There's a lot of intersections right here, and it all fits real nice and square and flush. The hood's in really nice shape. It's straight, fits real nice. This is actual ram air, so those scoop, that scoop is open. Yeah, the body line is real nice. Uh, absolutely straight. It's all smooth, nice, no bubbles, fits real nice. Door fits real nice, no bubbles. All nice, no issues. All nice, nice, nice. Trunk is nice and straight. A couple little, barely worth mentioning, little divots right there. Fits nice, no rust, no damage, no problem areas. It's all real good. This side is just as nice. I don't see any damage or bubbles or problems. The paint is very smooth and glossy. Uh, here's a little imperfection here, a little nick. Um, that all looks really nice. This all looks really nice. The pinstripe is painted on, dual pinstripes. Factory metal door edge guard uh, that came with. There's a little chip in the paint right there. The big wide rocker moldings are either replaced or restored because they're shiny and straight with a new emblem. Uh, the mirror looks new. I'm looking for flaws in the paint. There's not much significant. Uh, there's a little dust or a little, little something if you're crazy, insanely uh, fussy, you might point out. But there, here's another little rock chip, another one right on the edge there, one on the inside edge here. So aside from a couple real tiny chips, the paint is really beautiful. Um, <clears throat> 
catch the front end before it goes away. The front bumper is shiny. It looks like it's re-chrome. The grills are really nice. I have a receipt for about 700 bucks. These are H4 uh, headlights, new wiring harness, new chrome bezels. Uh, so that's all really good. The trim on top of the door is not beat up. But it's got scuffs and a little bit of wear, but they're not beat up. A couple pits on the vent window frame. Windshield's been replaced. It does have a nice stance. It's got radial red line tires. They're BF Goodrich tires, Rally One wheels, and they are 15 inch. Yeah, I thought they were upgraded. Power antenna works. It's a factory option. Here's uh, on the inside edge of the trunk lid, the paint's chipped a little. Rear bumper's been re-chromed. The stainless trim is real nice. Emblem looks new. So yeah, really nice looking uh, car on the outside. Why don't we open up, see what it looks like inside. All right, trunk latch works real nice. Bottom of the trunk lid's painted a smooth, glossy red. It's got the stickers. The jam is painted nice. Weather strip is replaced. It also has the well liner replaced. And obviously a trunk mat and a matching tire cover. So it does have a spare. It's got the jack assembly. It's all painted up real nice. And the whole trunk compartment is solid metal with a gray and white spatter finish. Uh, yeah, nice, clean, and complete trunk compartment. Along with the Pontiac historical papers, there is a restoration uh, photo album too, showing uh, the restoration project process. <clears throat> Door jams are painted nicely, actually very nicely. Door uh, weather strips were replaced. The window seals at the top of the doors were replaced. New door panel, new armrest, and uh, handle looks new. And that's something you don't see too often, power window switches which is really nice in a convertible. You got the power top, power windows, you do everything right from the driver's seat. Um, the dash pad, looks like that's been replaced. The metal's all painted nice, the wood grain. The whole instrument panel, I think, has been replaced because all the chrome is shiny. Wood grain uh, is real nice. Now, that may look like an AM, FM radio, but that's got the stereo conversion, and there's an auxiliary plug you can plug your phone in and listen to your music. Uh, nice gauge cluster down here, tachometer in the dash. There's your power antenna switch. There's your power top switch. You have a beautiful deluxe uh, steering wheel, new reproduction steering wheel. Uh, the pedals have the chrome trim. Uh, the carpet's real nice. It has embroidered uh, GTO floor mats. It has the original GM seat belts front and back. The seats are reupholstered. You have the center console here, and this is what they call the his and hers shifter or the dual gate shifter. Uh, if you want to go racing, you put it over here, and it'll stop you from going into the next gear by accident. So. That's why they call it the his and the hers. You can just put it in drive and go, or you can like slap shift it. Um, uh, good, instructions for the radio, you'll need those. Also XM, so it must have uh, XM satellite capabilities as well. There's extra keys, new glove box liner, uh, kick panel, uh, molded in speakers. I'm noticing the interior lights work even at the back of the console. Back seats reupholstered, uh, the lights work, you got power window switches, all in good shape. Yeah, nice black convertible top boot. The convertible top itself is power and it's uh, in excellent condition. There's pictures of that on our website. Visors and mirror look like they're new. So it has a correct 400 motor. Uh, the Ram Air comes through here. You can see the seal, which meets up to this air cleaner. So you get nice fresh air fed to the motor. Uh, it's got the 670 heads. 
uh, has the HO manifolds. Uh, it is actually, it's a 400, 360 horsepower, according to the code. And the, the manifolds reminded me, those are HO manifolds. Uh, and back, the distributor looks new. Um, <clears throat> has reproduction hoses and uh, clamps. Uh, upgraded power brake uh, system. It also has power steering. The alternator looks new. Uh, it looks proper and complete. Looks nice. The chrome valve covers, the right color on the motor, all the metal uh, surfaces are painted nicely. So uh, very, very nice condition. This is a really nice GTO. This is the type of car I would own. The doors, the trunk shut very nicely, but it's in really nice shape. You could take this any car show, cruise night, ice cream parlor, and be really proud of it, but it's not so perfect that you have to be terrified to drive it. Uh, I'd call it a really high-end driver quality car, and it's got great options. Colors, Ram Air, stereo, disc brakes, radial red lines. I mean, I, I, I would drive it just like this. There isn't anything I would feel I need to change. It's got the right stance. Looks beautiful. So there you have it. I like this one and I bet you you're going to like it too. You really better get to volocars.com uh, quick if you're interested. The last GTO I had was probably 30 grand more than this one. It sold almost immediately with a whole bunch of backup buyers signed up right away so go to volocars.com i just gave you my impression of this car talk to the salesman to help answer your questions or concerns uh, they can help get this delivered to your driveway they can help you finance it if you go to volocars.com i hope you enjoyed the videos and you're signed up to our youtube channel uh, and make sure you click that bell icon so you can be notified as the new videos are posted thanks for watching